Well, boys, we got ourselves a pool. We got ourselves a pool, Miggy. <laughs> we got our pool yesterday. It's a Intex 10 foot by 30 inches tall pool. Perfect for me to float in and cool off. And I can uh, get some sun and I can take the boys in there and cool them off too. Look at Miggy, he's got two. You were, try you were trying to bring two Frisbees up here, weren't you? He was trying to bring both those Frisbees in his mouth. He's looking for his ball, but I think it's over here. Let me see. I think it's over here, or at least it was. Oh, there it is. <laughs> now you're bringing that toy too? He's like, oh, there's my ball. <laughs> but I might want this toy, I don't know. <laughs> so silly, yep, we got it all. I just plugged in the pump. So that's going. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice little refreshing pool. Kitty sized pool for for mom, Magnum. <laughs> yes. Kitty sized pool for mom. We had to take Magnum today uh, to get a vaccination and he got checked over. Um, she looked at a couple um, masses on him. Uh, one in the front um, chest area by his right leg and a little one on his side. Uh, we scheduled him for a dental on September, I think it's, it's either September 6th or 9th. I can't remember. Um, so they're going to do a dental and take those masses off. Um, she said, let's get the one, especially on this chest area. It's right, it's right, right under here right there she said let's get that off while it's still small because if it gets any bigger it might be difficult to get off so and then he has a little one right here um and she thinks they're both just fatty cysts so we're gonna get those removed get his teeth cleaned um i made an appointment for milo who's out there under the pine tree because uh, he's still even with giving him the apoquel and um putting that moose on his feet, he's still biting those feet terrible. Um, so we're gonna go get him checked Monday. He's got an appointment Monday. Get him checked to see if he's got a yeast infection going on again on those feet. Uh, or, and if he doesn't, I think we're gonna switch him, um, take him off the Apoquel and give him the Cytopoint injection the shot for allergies and see if maybe that will help him better than the apoquel because some dogs i know that don't do good on apoquel do good with the cytopoint some dogs take the cytopoint injection doesn't help them but they take the apoquel and it'll help them so we're gonna try that out she said she actually has a pit bull that she sees that actually takes the apoquel and gets the cytopoint injection i said that'll probably be my dog <laughs> That'll probably be my dog. Let's walk out here to Milo. He's laying in the shade under the pine tree. Yeah, I said, leave it to one of my dogs to probably need both because they're both expensive. Uh, I pay, I think about $72 on auto ship on Chewy for the Apoquel a month uh, for Milo. Milo gets Apoquel and Max gets Apoquel. So that's like 140 40 some dollars a month for those two. But the Cytopoint shot is, I think when we tried it with Max, it was like $89 a month. So it'll be more expensive than the Apoquil. But if it helps him, that'll be better. Let's pray, fingers crossed, he doesn't have to do Apoquil and Cytopoint. Oh my goodness. So yeah, as you can see, I mean, my boys have a little bit of staining on their feet just from normal um, grooming themselves. Um, but Milo, Milo, Milo's really got some orange feet going on, front and back. So I'm gonna get him checked out. He could have another yeast infection, I don't know. 
because the moisture from licking them will cause yeast infection. So, yep, I'm gonna get that checked out Monday. Yes, and then Mozzie has an appointment Monday um, to get blood work at the Animal Surgical Center. So he goes, I think it's like 8 or 8.15 in the morning to get his blood work done, and then I've gotta take Milo around 11, I think 11 on Monday. So Monday morning will be filled with bed appointments. Yes, it will. <laughs> All right, just wanted to do a quick video, show you the new pool. Um, I'm excited, just gotta, it's cold right now. Just finished filling it up this morning. Um, so we've gotta let it get uh, warmed up in there, um, which won't be a problem because it's gonna be in the 80s for the foreseeable future. We will have to take it down though when they do our roof. We're scheduled to get our roof done, uh, I think my husband said July 25th. So we'll have to take it down and um, and then we're gonna stain the deck. We wanted to wait till after the roof was done to stain the deck, stain the deck. And then I'll make a decision if we put it back up after that, I might just wait till next summer. So we'll have it up for a couple weeks to enjoy. I may put it back up. It depends on what the weather's doing after we get the roof done and seeing the deck. That'll, that'll determine if I want to fill it back up with water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, our water bill's going to be crazy. Yes, it is. All right, guys. Just wanted to do a quick video. Just to kind of check in. Let you guys know what's going on. <laughs> let you guys know what's going on. And we'll talk to you. Um, let go. Let go. I'll talk to you in the next video.